We have helped thousands of students to realize their aspirations for over 15 years. Choose your ideal study destination from over 200 prestigious universities around the world. Fly into your future with Aspirations Education. Our services are free of charge and include student placements, visa support, information on scholarships, assistance for accommodation. Aspirations Education, your trusted and caring partner in overseas education. A very good morning to all of you, especially our young Visakians, parents and teachers. I hope everyone is staying safe at home and uh, welcome to the Entrepreneurship and You annual career guidance webinar organized by the Education Subcommittee of Visaka Vidyalaya Old Girls Association. And uh, this webinar is intended to show you pathways in current and future careers. We're happy to have you here. And if you have any questions, make sure that you ask them at the end of this uh, webinar. And we are going, going to talk to you today about how you can be an entrepreneur and how entrepreneurship can help the country as well. So before we start our program today, we need to engage yourselves with our conversation. So what do you have to do? Basically, you need to go to www.menti.com website. And if you can see the screen now, uh, there will be the code which you have to enter and log in. I believe everyone can see the content now. So www.menti.com is where you have to go type in the code and join the presentation. Sieluma Prashna Hanati and Adeval, menti.com, Nikata, join Vela, may pen a code deca at Tulat Karela, Ogolan the Hanapula. So a piece Salama, Kissima de Patang and Kaling, Ogolo Kau the Kamati Venna, Kiela Ahalaina. Um, a pi pen no, a pi question Nikamoka the Kiela. Question is, what is the strip pack? What is the unknown site? Visit the site. 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 I start with Dr. Dinuja Rupasinghe. Dr. Dinuja Rupasinghe studied at Visakha Vidyalaya from 1986 to 2000. She entered the Faculty of Medicine of University of Colombo and obtained her MBBS degree in 2008. I think when you see her, you will know her. 
she's a very prominent <laughs> TV presenter. And um, she's actually reading for her MD in clinical hematology and practicing at Apeksha Hospital Maharagama. As I mentioned before, she was a renowned media personality TV presenter who had been working at several leading TV channels in the country. She recently launched her YouTube channel, Cyber Clinic with Dr. DR, dedicated to the medical field. Good morning and welcome Dr. Dinu Jarupasinghe. Yeah, you're, you're on mute, Dr. Dinuja. Good morning, Shani, and good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to this webinar. All right. All right. So next, next we have Mr. Hamin the Jayavira. Mr. Hamin the Jayavira is a recipient of the prestigious Eisenhower Fellowship for year 2020. He is currently the Chief Operating Officer of Slintech. Also, commonly known as Sri Lanka Institute of Nanotechnology, the pioneer nanotech and advanced research facility in Sri Lanka. He has obtained his bachelor's degree in electronics and telecommunication engineering and master's in business administration in management of technology from the University of Muratur. He has worked over a decade in Dialogue Asiata and Asiata Group, specializing in new product and innovation management. He has product innovation consulting experience in Malaysia, Bangladesh, and Cambodia. Heminda is also a serial innovator and entrepreneur. He co-founded Gendo, a med tech startup which has patents in US and Japan for a non-invasive medical device to identify cardiovascular diseases. He also <clears throat> co-founded Thuru, a green tech initiative which is focused on utilizing technology for accelerating reforestation. He is also a director at Effective Solutions Private Limited, an IoT company, and also a director at Vibhava Solutions Private Limited, a company working on solutions related to plastic recycling and upcycling under the brand name Zero Trash. Heminda is also a director of Ceylon Graphene Technologies. As the senior, senior fellow in innovation and entrepreneurship of University of Moratua, he started Mora Ventures at University of Moratua based startup incubator. In 2018, he co-founded Venture Frontiers Lanka, an integrated startup platform focused on the development of the complete startup life cycle. Heminda is a seasoned trainer on design thinking and rapid prototyping for corporates. Welcome aboard, uh, Mr. Jayavira. We're happy to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, next, we have in line Dr. Asiri Heva Malage. Dr. Asiri Heva Malage is a medical uh, doctor, a consultant in public health, and an educationist and an advocate in child friendly education and child development. She worked as a registrar and a senior registrar at the Child Development and Special Needs Unit of the Family Health Bureau for over four years and contributed to developing the early childhood development standards and early child development module for the primary healthcare workers in Sri Lanka. Dr. Heva Malagi has obtained training in child growth monitoring and promotion, infant, young, child feeding and breastfeeding modules done by the health, Family Health Bureau as well. She earned her MBBS from Faculty of Medicine, Colombo, and MSc in Public Health and MD in Public Health. She is also an Australia awardee for Masters for Inclusive and Special Education in Monash University, and she obtained the Dean's Award for Academic Excellence and Academic Achievement from University of Monash as well. For her doctoral dissertation, she had conducted a study on normative reference standards for cognitive abilities among the primary grade population of Sri Lanka, where she extensively studied on cognitive development of the children and developed a Sri Lankan specific intelligent assessment scale. So currently, she is the National Program Manager for Child Development and Special Needs in Sri Lanka. Welcome aboard, Dr. Heva Malagi. Thank you, Rukhshani, and thank you for that wonderful uh, introduction. And Last but not the least, Mr. Mithila Vagapitya. Hi, Mithila. 
Uh, Mithila Vagapitiya is a co-founder and chief operating officer at Potenza, a young millennial leader who adds a unique creative spin to the organization with industry experience in multiple domains, including technology, entertainment and media, malpractice insurance, e-commerce and FMCG. Prior to co-founding Potenza, he was a part of a handful of multinational companies, including Virtuza, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, and Way Interactive. Mithila is a graduate from Aston University BSc, focused in business and management from Aston University UK, and holds an MBA from the Postgraduate University in sorry from the Postgraduate Institute of Management, Sri Lanka, with a unique point of view of digital culture and transformation. Transformation he brings to the table a unique set of competencies and next generation entrepreneurship. Welcome aboard, Mr. Vagavijaya. And I'm um, very honored to be in this forum. Thank you very much. So without further ado, I would like to just have a look at what our students had said about whom they want to be. Uh, let's go to the next slide, please. Oh, there goes the word cloud. So out of, we'll see, we have 492 attendees. OK, a lot of people wants to be a doctor. And the next one is engineer. All right, very nice. So you have ambitious uh, career uh, aspirations. So we are happy that you have your uh, career, thinking about your career as well. So before we go there, we should see what we have to do and what we have to learn as well. So being a doctor, is it hard being a doctor and being an entrepreneur? Let me just go and ask this all these about from our panelists. Isela <laughs> Vaidya Asri Heva Malige Veta Tamamang Isela Meanne Nirmana Shili Darwek Bihikaranna Me Pasar Padetia Tula Labena Adya Pane Kochura Durata Ivahal Venava the Kiala Mang Isela Mahana Kamedi Vaidya Tumi Thank you Rukshani Prashnamagi Yomukarate Adarni Vishakayan Boma Adarni Piliganava Me Vetas at Hunter Sahabagi Vena Then Rukshani Shani mangi hai, paasal adhya apne toli ko hum adhya apni nirmana shili aludeval ho hai na aludeval karana para pura bhi karane kiya na. Lekin di paasal adhya apne kiya la gudak kila vatte apne daruoi evagi ma apne dimau piyoi dakinne adhikale apni paasal toli igena karna vishya ashrita devale kya ne gani tere vidya ab samajadhi ne hoye deita mai paasal adhya apne kila dakinne. Hai bhai mama dakinne ma paasal adhya अपनी इट वड़ा बहुम पुलुल फरासे के पैतरीचे दया पीड़ी है टा अपनी विषय करुम इगल गाना मत हमारी ना हो इट अमतर अब अपनी गुड़ाक देवल इसको ले तो लेंगे इगल गाना दें दाहर रैक भी देर की वो थिंग इतना कोटा गुड़ाक का ये तो कि इन्हें क्रीड़ा करने का नेटुंग करने का ये देवल एक अभितर अपने सीधे बेरो विविध परिसर वाली आपको दरों तक का बैठ कराना है तो कुछ आप विशाल का विद्यालय का तो तो विशाल का विद्यालय तो गुड़ाक ऐतिहासिक ने लम्बाई ने लंगाई ने लम्बाई ने विविध आकार लम्बाई राशि आपने परिसर ऐसे लेने में ये तो कुछ मेथेन दिया आपने नोटेन वर्ड तो मां आपकी पासले � मुकदमा आधा हो आगे ना तेरा वही विषय पर ना शतवार शेय सार तक का बैठना ना अपने पुलवा में नौ ना चीम बर्क किए ने काफी खंडा है मार के का बैठकर आना पुलवा में नौ ने तो बर खंडा है मार के इन्हें विविध है कि आवान विविध बिहेवियर्स थे विविध चारे आवान थे ना पुत्गले हो ये तो बर मैं विविध चारे आवान थे ना पुत्गले एक का ये बोलो आगे सिद्धि भी नहीं हाथुना आगे ना अपने बैठे कराने को हो पता किए ने का अपने टेमे पांच साल पाद देती है तू लापी में काता करना औरों की दहातुना आता रहता हूँ ना अपने निराया सिंग अपने टेकल आए बेरो गेदरिंग अपने टेकल आ बने बैम पद गेदरिं ये वाके में पास ले आते हैं आपने चलिए आप इतने लाभ ना अनित विशेष कुछ लाभ कुछ लाभ था व्याप्त हमारी कुहमध्य में 
पड़ी पड़ी गैटल हुई सिंदा गाड़ी के लिए देंगे वैरी ही थी एक उधर हम शहर तक वैरी ही थी एक वैन ना अनिवार्य में जीविते हम हम बने ना अभियोग वाले मून देने वाले हैं मतलब आप वैरी ही थी एक जीविते अभियोग वाले ही मून देने देंगे आप इधर ना लोके मत अभियोग वाले मून दिला दिए ना एक बार फास्ट चले दे तब इधर सिद्ध बनो पड़ी पड़ी अभियोग वाले मून देने गुरु रूंगे इन अभियोग वेन्ना पुलवां क्या लूंगे इन अभियोग वेन्ना पुलवां फास्ट चले दे ना बैठा थे के ना अभियोग वेन्ना पुलवां सम्हार उपचार वाले टप लेस्ट इन कोटे ये वा ऑर्गेनाइज कर गाने कोटे ना अभियोग वेन्ना पुलवां ने वाकी पड़ी पड़ी गेट चलो अभियोग वाले तो कुछ मत नहीं चैलेंजेस वाले मोन देने कुछ मत आप ही आपे इलाका कराना लगा आपे ना मैं चैलेंजेस पास करके ना कहीं लापे टारगेट्स अचीव कर गाने कुछ मत मैं मैं दे वालो तो आप इट पास कर लादिया आपने ऐसे भी नो देन वाट तो माप इट लेवल इट अमत तरह अभियोग वाले मोन दिन निवागी में अभियोग वाले दिन कुछ मत आप उपयोग अंतिम इंजीनियर अरे कैटी का आदि ना गोल से कैटी टू एम टेस्ट का पास है नॉन ओ लेवल्स पास है नॉन ए लेवल्स पास है मामा कहते हैं ये वो ये वाला दाखिल नॉन कैटी का आदि ना गोल से दिए है बे यार लॉन्ग टाइम गोल लेकर बैठे नॉन वो या ये प्रोफेशनल लेकर टिया ना माँ वो या इतने सार तो कोर आह आह ये होती है � एलेवल लो एलेवल वाके ये मत बैठ गा इतने ये विधि है तो फासल आदि आप अपने सुलिंग अपने बुड़ा देवल लबल देना वो अपने दाने में नहीं होना आटे वो को मत आप ही आना करते वैधी ठीक ही देरे जीविते जाग रहने कर गाने किए ने का संबंध है मम्मी तो नींद ना आता है ना तो रुक जाने ना तो तावड़ी का कता करा थोड़ी का प या रिसर्च का कल तो ये ना लोग के में सक्सेस हो सार तक आए भी जीवित बाला ला ये सार तक उनके लिए दहास गाना का परीक्षण या कल बाला तो ये ना मेरे बोला कि सार तक अभी में रहा समुपाद के लिए मेरे बोला कि तो ये ना दक्षता व्यंत या तब मेरे बोला कि तो ये ना निपुण था व्यंत मैं ऐ मेरे बोल मिहम खोएला खोएला बालाली बर वेला उपको म खरुन है कतु करला बालाला अर आप इकेरो कन्फाउंडिंग केला ये बागे देवा लोग को माइन करला बेलु हम खारना देखा इतर वेला दिए रो ये देखा था माय ग्रिटिनस ग्रिट किए ने का एक आप इसीं कलिंग केरो नोपस बस ना उत्साह है साहा अनि कारने तो माय ग्रोथ माइंडसेट किए ने अपि बहु महारी अपि उत्साह है अतारी नहीं ये तो कुछ उत्साह है दिग्गज में पावत्व आगे नहीं आना वाह अपि गोल्स अपि अनागते ये लॉन्ग टाइम गोल्स ये आगे ना ये गोल लेकर के रही अपि नोपस बस ना उत्साह ही नहीं बैठा कर रहा तो कुछ यामी कल आसन है सामी करने की पेन लगती है ना दक्षता दी है न अतापिस किल्ले का किल्ले के ना इंटीसी ईलागे टो में निपुण था व्यक्त आयुष्मा हैंग वैरी कर रहा हूँ मैं एक जायक रहने आकर रहा लगा रहा हूँ पर मैं समीकरण देखा हुआ हूँ 
ඔයලට තේරෙනවා ඇති මේ උත්සාහය කියන වචනේ දෙසරයක් අපි කතා කරනවා දක්ෂතාවය වැඩි කිරීම උත්සාහය සමානයි නිපුණතාව නිපුණතාවය වැඩි කිරීම උත්සාහය සමානයි ජයග්‍රහණ ඒක ජයග්‍රහණයකට ළඟා වෙනකොට ඔයගලට තේරෙන ඇති දෙසරයක් කිය වෙන්නේ උත්සාහය එතකොට Tamanta දක්ෂතා තිබීමම उत्साहित्रोथम उत्साह मटे तेंचे आने पुलवा क्या ल हम ए अभी करला यमक बैरीवे ने का फेलिया एक अभी दाखी नो फाड़ वाप पी थे ए उससे अभी तवदुरा टक महान सुविला ए अभी आवासा ना गोले का खरा यार ने उत्साह करने के तमाही तो ग्रोथ माइंडसेट किया लगिया इतने मेरे में ग्रोथ माइंडसेट सह वो एक रिचिनस तीर पुत्गले तमाही उत्साह वैद्यवरिया කොහොමද මේ ව්‍යවසායක ව්‍යවසායිකාවක් බවට පත් වෙන්නේ කියලා පාසලෙන් ලද අධ්‍යාපනයෙන් කොචර ඉවහල් වුණාද කියලා මේ දේවල් කරගන්න ව්‍යවසායිකාවක් විදිහටත් ඒ වගේම වෛද්‍යවරියක් විදිහටත් කොහොමද මේ දෙකම සමබර පාත්‍රාගෙන යන්නේ කියලා ඒ දැන් අර අපේ මේ විසා කවියන්ගෙන් ඇහුවම ලකුණු හම වෙන්න කැමති කවද කියලා ගාකයි උත්තර දීලා තිබ්බේ ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වෙන්න කියලානේ දැන් ඇත්තටම අපි ඉස්සර පන්ති එකත් ඔය ප්‍රශ්නේ ටීචර්ස් ලහනවනේ ඉස්සෙල්ලම අපි ස්කෝලෙට ගියාම ඉතින් එතකොටත් ඔය උත්තරේම තමයි හම්බ වෙන්නේ ඩොක්ටර් ඉංජිනියර් ඔය වගේ උත්තර තමයි හම්බ වෙන්නේ හැබැයි එක වසරේදී මගේ උත්තරේ නම් ඊට වඩා වෙනස් උත්තරයක් මම කිව්වේ මට ඕනේ ලේඛිකාවක් වෙන්න කියලා එතකොට අපි පන්තියට පනික් ළමයි දැනගෙන හිටියෙත් නැහැ මේ මොකක්ද මේ ලේඛිකාවක් කියන්නේ කියලා ඉතින් මම හරි ආසයි පුංචි කාලේ ඉඳලා ලියන්න කියවන්න මම හරි ආසයි ඉතින් ඒකත් එක්කම මගේ හිතේම ඇවිල්ලා තිබ්බේ මම කවද හරි ගොඩාක් පොත් ලියන කෙනෙක් වෙනවා කියන ඒ ආසාව තමයි මගේ පුංචි හිතේ තිබ්බේ ඉතින් මං පාසල් කාලේ තියෙන නම් හරි දඟ දරුවෙක් ටිකක් වෙනස් විදිහට හිතපු පත්පු දරුවෙක් කවදාවත් මට ඇත්තටම ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වෙන්න ඕනේ කියලා හීනයක් තිබිලා නැහැ ඉතින් දැන් පාසල් කාලෙදි මම දැන් ඇත්තටම කියන්න ඕනේ දැන් අපේ විශාකාව කියලා කියන්නේ අධ්‍යාපනයට වගේම අනෙක් බාහිර වැඩ කටයුතු වලට අවස්ථාවන් ගොඩාක් තියෙන තෝතැන්නක් මම දැනේක හැමෝම දන්නවා විශාක එකට ගියපු ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට අවස්ථා ගොඩාක් තියෙනවා වෙනත් විෂය බාහිර ක්‍රියාකාරකම් වල නිරත වෙන්න එතකොට මම පාසල් කාලේ नेटुंग वाले टा इतो कोटा रंगने आटा इबागे में लियान्न कियान्न खातिक विवाद में हम देख कटे में मामा दक्षता पे नुआई बागे में तारंग वाले साहब बागे ना जाए क्रहण ले बुआ इबागे में दवस वाले आपे खाला उले लकी लकी आने एक वेनम मांगल लिया कतर में एक खाला मांगल लिया इतिंग अदर धरियासा एक आपी मत करन इतो कोटा इंग्लिश � सहबागे उन्हें इतने ये वाके मस्पोर्ट्स नहीं इतने का एक वेनमी वेंट का 
सहभागीहभागीहयोग डॉक्टर एग्जाम මෙහෙම කරලා හරියන්නේ නැහැ ඒකටත් මම හොඳට ප්ලෑන් එකක් ඇතුව වැඩ කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා ඊට පස්සේ මම හොඳට ප්ලෑන් කරලා සෙකන්ඩ් ටයිම් මම එක්සෑම් කළා කරලා හොඳ රිසල්ට් එකක් අරගෙන මම කොළඹ මෙඩිකල් ෆැකල්ටි එකට තේරුණා එතකොට ඒ කාලේ අපිට ඇත්තටම මේ 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 ඩිජිටල් මාධ්‍ය එතකොට මේ දැන් මේ ස්මාර්ට් ෆෝන්ස් මේ ඉලෙක්ට්‍රොනික් උපාංග මේ දේවල් අපිට තිබ්බේ නැහැ මම ඉස්සලම ෆෝන් එකක් පාවිච්චි කළේ මෙඩිකල් ෆැකල්ටි එකේ ඉන්න කාලේ ඒකත් මේ නිකන් කෝල් එකක් විතරයි ගන්න පුළුවන් මේ ෆෝන් එකෙන් වෙන මොනවාද එක තිබ්බේ නැහැ ඉතින් එතකොට අපි හැම වෙලාවකම අර පුද්ගල සම්බන්ධතා අපි යාළු මිත්‍ර ආශ්‍රය කළා තමයි සන්තෝෂ වුණේ එතකොට වෙන එක එක ක්‍රියාකාරකම් වලට සහභාගී වෙලා තමයි සන්තෝෂ වුණේ පොත් කියවලා තමයි අපි සන්තෝෂය ලැබුවේ එතකොට මේ දේවල් එකත් මම හිතන්නේ අපිට හරිම අර නිර්මාණ ශීලී විදිහට හිතන්න අලුත් විදිහට හිතන්න එහෙම මනසක් අපිට ඇති වුණා දැන් ඇත්තටම මම ඔබට කියන්නම් ඇයි අපි පාසලේදී මේ විෂය පරිබාහිර ක්‍රියාකාරකම් වලට සහභාගී වෙන්න ඕනේ කියලා ඒකේ තියෙන වැදගත්කම ඩොක්ටර් ආසිරි බොහොම හොඳින් කිව්වා මේ අධ්‍යාපනය කියලා කිය සීමා වෙන්නේ මේ පොත පත විතරක් නෙවෙයි ඒකේ තියෙන ඒ හරි පළල් විෂයක් නෙමෙයි මේක දැන් ඇත්තටම අපි ස්කෝලෙන් එළියට බැස්සට පස්සේ මොකක්ද වෙන්නේ අපි තනියේ එතකොට අපි රස්සාවක් කරනකොට එතනට අපේ අම්මා තාත්තා එන්නේ නැහැ ගුරුවරු එන්නේ නැහැ යාළු වෙන්නේ නැහැ අපි තනියෙන් තමයි මේ හැම දෙයකටම මූණ දෙන්න ඕනේ එතකොට දරුවනේ ජීවිතය කියන්නේ ලස්සන දෙයක් නෙවෙයි මේක හරි අමාරුයි අපි ඉස්සර ස්කෝලින් අවුට් වෙලා අපි එළියට බැස්සට පස්සේ හරි අමාරුයි ජීවිතේ කැපිලි කැටිලි එනවා වැඩ ගොඩක් එනවා දරා ගන්න දේවල් තියෙනවා එතකොට මේ වගේ වෙලාවක අපි හොඳට කකුල් දෙකෙන් නැගිටලා ශක්තිමත් වෙ ඉස්සරහට යන්න නම් අර අපි ස්කෝලෙදී ලබපු අත්දැකීම් ඒ පන්නරය අපිට හරියට ප්‍රයෝජනමත් වෙනවා විශේෂයෙන් අපි ටීම් එකක් විදියට වැඩ කරලා තිබ්බාම අපි රැකියාවක් කරනකොට ඒ රැකියාව කරන තැන අනික් මිනිසුත් එක්ක අපි සුහදශීලීව වැඩ කරන්නේ කොහොමද කියලා අපි ඉගෙන ගන්නවා ඒ වගේම කවුරු හරි එක කෙනෙක් දෙන්නේ පොඩ බෙල්ල කපන්න ආවොත් පොඩි කෙනෙහිලි කමක් දාන්න ආවොත් අපි ඒකට අර හොඳ විදිහට අපි රියැක්ට් කරන්න ඕනේ කොහොමද කියන එක අපි ඉගෙන ගන්නවා. ඒ වගේම කුහක වෙන්නේ නැතුව අනික් මිනිස්යාට ගරු කරලා සහයෝගයෙන් වැඩ කරන්නේ කොහොමද කියලා අපි ඉගෙන ගන්නවා. ඒ වගේම ඊටම වැදගත් මම කියන්න ඕනේ මේක හැම දරුවෙක්ටම අපි ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වෙන්න ඉස්සෙල්ලා අපි ඉගෙන ගන්න ඕනේ පාඩම් දෙකක් තියෙනවා. පළවෙනිම දේ තමයි ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක්ට තියෙන්න ඕනේ මිනිස්සකම. මිනිස්සකම නැති දොස්තර කෙනෙක් ලෝකෙක් කොහෙ ගිහිල්ලාවත් වැඩක් නැහැ. මොකද අපි ගනු දෙනු කරන්නේ මිනිස්සුත් එක්ක විශේෂයෙන් අපේ රටේ ඉතාම අසරණ රෝගීන්ට තමයි අපි ප්‍රතිකාර කරන්නේ. එතකොට අපිට මේ මිනිස්සයා අපි ළඟට ආවාම අපිට පේන්නේ මේ මිනිස්සයාගේ ලෙඩේ විතරක් නම් අපෙන් වැඩක් නැහැ. එතකොට මේ මිනිස්සයාට ඊට වඩා ප්‍රශ්න ගණනාවක් තියෙනවා. මේ මිනිස්සගේ සමාජීය ප්‍රශ්න, මේ මිනිස්සගේ මානසික ප්‍රශ්න මේව තේරුම් ගන්න තරමට අපේ මුලේ හැදිලා තියෙන්න ඕනේ. ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට ඒ සංවේදීකම තියෙන්න ඕනේ. එතකොට අපි බෙහෙත් එක ලියලා දීලා විතරක් මේ මිනිස්සයාගේ ලෙඩේ හොඳ කරන්න හදනවා නම් එතන අපි අසාර්ථක ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක්. එතකොට ඊට වඩා අපිට මේ මිනිස්සයත් එක්ක කතා කරලා මේ මිනිස්සයාගේ තියෙන ප්‍රශ්න හඳුනගෙන අපිට ඊට වඩා ලොකු දෙයක් මේ පුද්ගලයාට කරන්න පුළුවන් අපිට මිනිස්සකම තියනවා නම්. ඒ වගේම දෙවෙනි එක තමයි ආකල්ප. දැන් මම දකින්නවා හුඟක් වෙලාවට මේ ආකල්ප අතින් දුර්වල මිනිසුන් 
බිහි වෙනවා. එතකොට මේ ආකල්ප කියන එක අපිට මේ පොතක් කියවලා ඉගෙන ගන්න පුළුවන් දෙයක් නෙවෙයිනේ. මේක අපේ gedering අපේ දෙමෝපියන්ගෙන් අපිට ලැබෙන දායා දෙයක්. ඒ වගේම පාසලෙන් අපි අරගෙන එන දෙයක් මේ හොඳ ආකල්ප කියන දේවල්. එතකොට ඔබේ ආකල්ප හොඳ නැත්තම් ඔබ මොන වෘත්තිකයෙක් වුණත් දරුවනේ වැඩක් නැහැ ඇත්තටම. එතකොට හොඳ ආකල්ප සහිතව තමයි ඔබ ප්‍රකියාවක් කරන්න ඕනේ සමාජයේ පුරවැසියෙක් විදිහට ඔබ ඉදිරියට යන්න ඕනේ. එතකොට අපිට අර අපි කියනවනේ හොඳ ඩොක්ටර් කියන්නේ හොඳ ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් නම් හොඳ පේෂන්ට් කෙයා එකක් අපිට දෙන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්න ඕනේ. එතකොට මේක අපිට කරන්න බැහැ අපේ ආකල්ප හොඳ නැත්තම් අපිට අර මේ මේ රෝගියව දැක්කම නිකන් අපිට මේ සල්ලි එන මොකක් හරි එහෙම උල්පතක් වගේ නම් රෝගියව පේන්නේ. එතනින් එහාට ඒක වැඩක් නැහැ. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා අපි මේ මිනිස්සුත් එක්ක ගනු දෙනු කරන රැකියාවක් නිසා විශේෂයෙන්ම අපේ රැකියාවට ඒ වගේම අපේ රැකියාවට විතරක් නෙවෙයි. අනෙක් හැම වෘත්තිකයෙක්ටම මිනිස්සකම සහ ආකල්ප කියන දේ ඉතාම වැදගත්. ඊට පස්සේ දැනුම සහ හැකියාව අපිට එකතු කර ගන්න පුළුවන් අපිට පොතේ පතේ දැනෙමින් අපි වැඩි කර අපි වැඩ වැඩ කරලා ඵලපුරුද්දෙන් මේ දේවල් වලින් අපිට ඒ දේවල් එක්කාසු කර ගන්න පුළුවන්. මම මගේ කතා විවර කරන්න කලින් එක පුංචි කතාවක් කියන්න. මම මේ දවස්වල වැඩ කරන්නේ අපේක්ෂා රෝහලේ. ඊයේ මම බෝන් මැරෝ යුනිට් එකේ ඉන්නකොට අවුරුදු 25ක ලස්සන ගෑනු ළමෙක් ආවා. ඉතින් මම පුරුද්දක් විදියට මම පේෂන්ට්ස් ලත් එක්ක ටිකක් කතා කරනවා. මම කැමති ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ අත්දැකීම් දැනගන්න. ඉතින් මේ දේවල් එක්ක මම හුඟක් දේවල් මම මේ මගේ ජීවිතයටත් මම අරගන්නවා, මම විඳිනවා, මම ලියන්න කියන්න. ඒ අයගේ අත්දැකීම් සමහර වෙලාවට ප්‍රයෝජනයට ගන්නවා. ඉතින් ඒ දරුවත් එක්ක මම කතා කරනකොට මට තේරුණා දැන් මේ දරුවට අවුරුදු 25යි ලස්සන ගෑනු ළමෙක් පිලිකාවකින් නැය ලේ පිලිකාවකින් නැය පීඩා විඳිනවා හැබැයි මූණ දැක්කහම කිසිම එහෙම මේ ඒකෙන් දුක් විඳින පාටක් මානසිකව වැටුණු පාටක් එහෙම පේන්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් මම කතා කළා එතකොට ඇය කිව්වා ඇය යුනිවර්සිටි ගිහිල්ලා යුනිවර්සිටි එකේ අන්තිම අවුරුද්දෙදි තමයි ඇයට මේ මේ පිලිකා තත්ත්වෙට මූණ දෙන්න වෙලා තියෙන්නේ එතකොට මම එහෙව දැන් වා තව මොනවාද කළේ ඉතින් ආ ස්පෝට්ස් ගොඩක් කළා කිව්වා බැඩ්මින්ටන් කළා ගැහුවා කිව්වා ඉතින් එතකොට එයා ඒ කෙනෙක් එයා ගොඩක් ඉස්සරහට කියපු ක්‍රීඩා වලින් ඉස්සරහට කියපු මේ ගෑන් ළමෙක් ඊට පස්සේ ඔහොම ඔක්කොම කතා කරලා ඉතින් මම එහෙවා කොහෙද යා ඉස්කෝලේ ගියේ විසාකයකට ඩොක්ටර් කිව්වා දැන් මට ඇත්තටම මේ ඒ වෙලාවේ හරි දුකක් සහ සතුටක් මේ දෙකම මට දැනුණා දුක මට දැනුණේ ඒ වගේ තරුණ වයසක ඒ තාම අවාසනාවන්ත රෝගයකට ගොදුරු වීම ගැන හැබැයි සතුට මට අනිත් පැත්තෙන් දැනුණේ ඇය එහෙම වෙලත් මේ පොසිටිව් විදිහට ජීවිතය ගැන බලනයකට ඒ කියන්නේ මට හිතා ගන්න බැරි වුණා මට ඒ වයසෙදි එහෙම දෙයක් වුණා නම් මම කොහොම මේකට මුහුණ දෙයිද කියලා හැබැයි ඇය හරි පොසිටිව් විදිහට ඇය මේ බාර අරගෙන තිබ්බා ඇයට ඒ ජීවිතේ විසින් හිමි කළ දුන්නු තත්වය ඉතින් විසාකාවියෝ හැම දිනාටම කියන්නේ පොතේ පතේ දැනුම විතරක් අරගෙන විසාකාවෙන් එලියට එන්න එපා පාසලක් කියන්නේ එහෙම පොතේ පතේ දැනුම විතරක් අරගෙන එලියට එන්න ඕන තැනක් නෙවෙයි ඊට වඩා තව හුඟාක් දේවල් මිනිසුත් එක්ක අපි ගනු දෙනු කරන්නේ කොහොමද ඒ සම්බන්ධකම් ගොඩ ටඟා ගන්නේ කොහොමද ජය පැරදුම බාර ගන්නේ කොහොමද ටීම් එකක් එක්ක වැඩ කරන්නේ කොහොමද ජීවිතේට මූණ දෙන්නේ කොහොමද මේ හැම දෙයක් පිළිබඳවම පාඩම් කියා දෙන තක්සලාවක් මේක. ඉතින් ඒක උපරිම ප්‍රයෝජනේ ඔබ මේ පාසල් කාලය තුළ ලබා ගන්න. බොහොම ස්තුතියි වැරදිතුමිනේ බොහොම ස්තුතියි. හරිම වටින පණිවිඩයක් අපි අපේ පුංචි දුවලට දුන්නේ. අපි ඊළඟට යමු වෙන්නේ මිස්ටර් හේමින්ද ජාවීර ළඟට. මිස්ටර් ජාවීර you are known as a very famous serial entrepreneur. So how did your school life uh, support you to become who you are today? Can you just uh, let us know about all of that? Yeah, thank you, uh, Rukshani. Thank you very much. So I think uh, uh, if I talk about uh, my school life, uh, I came from a pretty far place from Colombo. Of course, I did my uh, first, uh, few, first five years in, in the village school. And then uh, I got the scholarship exams uh, at year five. And then uh, I joined Royal College uh, Colombo that was uh, from year six. Then uh, one of the things that I faced during my school time was I was traveling from uh, Pallavar, that is uh, about 50 kilometers from Colombo. So I had to leave home at 4.30 in the morning uh, when I was at year six, uh, because there was uh, 
no van service during that time only one van that i could uh, find out of course my parents could find out and that van is supposed to go to find i mean about 20 to 30 students all around that area so i was the first to be picked and i was the the, the one the last to be dropped as well so then uh, so by the time i get home it was around 4:30 so it's all 12 hours journey to school although the school time was from 7:30 to 1:30 during my time so uh, i couldn't do much of uh, you know uh, extracurricular activities during my early time because of that the same issue that i faced because it was early very early in the morning and by the time i get home it's too pretty late but then uh, by year 8 or 9 what i realized was uh, this something that i i don't know whether it's knowingly or unknowingly i realized that if i if i feel that i'm weak in some area i should really focus on that so knowing what you are weak at is a knowledge itself so that i realize some somewhere i mean my my generally my uh, studies were good so i generally i had uh, uh, you know good grades in from year 6 to year 10 or whatever and then i selected uh, you know maths stream those days uh, of course uh, our levels were a bit different to now of course we had four subjects and i i wanted to be a uh, engineer anyway like like you like uh, most of the you know students here mentioned doctors and engineer i also wanted to be engineer but then again i uh, i had something different i don't know whether it's uh, uh, so i don't i want to be a good engineer so it's something because my father was an engineer and then my father was talking about something called there were engineers who built uh, dams in sri lanka or, or, or bridges in sri lanka uh, after some time you had to replace them so everything was built by engineers right but then they were in not good quality so so what he stressed was just so you if you want to be an engineer don't be be an engineer but be an engineer who does good things so that was the the message i got from my father uh, and then i realized there was this uh, uh, small thing uh, about uh, to become a good engineer there are a lot of things that you need to know other than what exactly you want to learn about engineering for example when you say engineering maybe you need to do maths right you need to learn about physics you need to learn about science but then then there are a lot of other things for you to be a good engineer so that was the initially at school time i learned and then i i i used to do a lot of uh, extra curricular activities as well uh, not very early stage but by year 7 year 8 onwards i i did a lot of extra curricular activities just to learn the things that i couldn't uh, i i thought my my weak areas and uh, and one of the things that i couldn't do uh, so i will move on from my school time to my university time also so one of the things that i really failed or couldn't do during my uh, school time was uh, i couldn't do a sport at national level so that is something that i really wanted to do so what i did was when i joined university my first focal point was to get into a sport and excel that sport in the national scale which i did actually uh, i entered the university of moratua Uh, did drawing started drawing at the age of 18 or 19 as soon as i uh, joined university uh, and then uh, in fact i rode and rode in the sri lankan national rowing uh, championship as well so 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 that particular model continued even when i joined uh, my uh, first job we never had this uh, whole entrepreneurial sort of uh, thing i mean a, a program like this someone to teach about entrepreneurship some someone to talk about what is entrepreneurship during that time i'm talking about 2003 2004 uh, that that era and uh, uh, so so the easiest thing that we could do was to join a company uh, after graduation and even while i was at uh, you know first few years as a as a engineer budding engineer Uh, what i did was i started moving into areas that i felt that you know i'm weak at uh, for example in the university uh, another thing that i couldn't do, do was uh, i i couldn't do uh, i was i had this stage fright so whenever someone asked me to talk about something i i had this uh, stage fright and then uh, uh, the easiest thing i did was i joined the uh, english literary association at uh, university of moratua and Uh, because of the only reason they were doing stage drama 
So I acted in Lionel Rent and various other places as well in English, by the way, right? So I, I didn't know much of English also those days, but then uh, I wanted to do things that I didn't know. Uh, so so that really helped me to build a lot of things, especially my the sports that I did at university and even uh, some of the extracurricular activities that I did at school and also the, 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 the drama and various other activities that I did uh, because I realized those things really helped me my career more than what I learned at school or university. For example, the physics I learned at uh, school or the uh, thermodynamics I learned at uh, university uh, did help, but very little. But the other things that I learned, for example, playing, uh, I mean, in a team like uh, like rowing team uh, in University of Moratua taught me a lot of things uh, that helped me my career, uh, which is uh, today. And also, uh, I think uh, uh, one of the things that I wanted to tell you, uh, if I get maybe two or three minutes from your time, uh, have a, uh, don't just try to be a doctor. For example, I have a daughter. She's uh, 11 years now. But uh, if I ask the same question, what do you want to be? She will, might, she might also say the same thing. I want to be a doctor, or I want to be an engineer, or I want to be something. But when you grow up, say now, I know there are students from I think year 8 to year 12, 13 in this audience, right? So when you grow up, what you have to do is keep the same uh, ambition. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, becoming a doctor is bad. Doctor, becoming a doctor is very good. But try to be a good doctor. For example, keep your ambition like I want to be a doctor and cure 1000 patients during my lifetime. So bit bit further up than just becoming a doctor. So just becoming a doctor is very easy. Not that not that difficult, but becoming a doctor and curing maybe helping thousand patients or thousand people in their life is much more difficult. And doing that is need a lot of other uh, qualities in life. So I think that's where your ambition is. For example, even if it is an entrepreneur, right? That since we are coming into the topic of entrepreneurship. Don't just be just become an entrepreneur, right? I mean, you know, I mean, if you know a bit of entrepreneurship uh, within seven days, you can be an entrepreneur. I mean, you just need to. Uh, I mean, if you really uh, think in a technical terms, you can just start a company in seven days in Sri Lanka, now, right? But don't be just an uh, just a business person or an entrepreneur. But if you have ambition like I will become an entrepreneur and give 100 jobs to 100 people. So have an ambition of that manner. So it has to be have a qualitative and something going beyond your profession. So thank you very much. Uh, I, I hope I answered your question. Thank you very much, Mr. Javid. Of course, you answered the question and more a lot more as well. Um, so I'll move on to uh, Mr. Mithila Vagapitiya. Mr. Vagapitiya, uh, you are one of these young millennial entrepreneurs. Why did you want to become an entrepreneur? Your background is from IT. You have been working. You had exposure in UK. Why did you want to become an entrepreneur coming back to Sri Lanka? Sure. So thanks, Rukshani, and uh, thank you for the rest of the panel. Uh, so relatively, I'm a young, younger professional uh, compared to all of the rest of you all. Uh, I would say I'm probably seven or eight years older than the students here. Uh, so basically, my uh, school life started in Ananda College. I, I'm a product of Ananda College. And during school time, I was never a studious student. Uh, I was always, uh, if there were 40, 45 kids in a class, I was all max. I think the, the, the best ranking I would have gotten is 35, right? Uh, in certain grades, I was uh, last in the class. I'm not uh, ashamed to admit that. Um, things went on. Uh, like that, and I really failed to identify my passion in life. Um, but there came an age where I uh, started playing. I was involved in playing a lot of video games at the start of my life, and my father specifically saw this as something really bad. Right. So every time when he used to go to work, and, uh, go to, uh, and he, he mentioned this very specific uh, state where game gahala the luku game gahala sallihan the kawadhar 
okay. So at that point of my life, something engraved saying, okay, you know what, I'm going to prove him wrong someday. Uh, so with that ambition in my mind, I actually went through school life, uh, did decently well for O levels, but for A levels, I managed to get the formula of doing things right. Uh, got two A's and a B, uh, got selected to Aston University. I went to Aston, but that's still that challenge of uh, proving my father wrong uh, was in my head. And I obviously come from a very strong family, uh, family business background. And uh, the, the notion of starting your own business, joining the family business is always there uh, in the family. So after uh, university, I got the chance to join uh, Warner Brothers in the UK, in London, and their video games. So uh, I managed to, so I was playing a specific video game when I was small, the fourth edition of the book on the night, uh, to uh, development work on the video game. I got the, find, the one of the first CDs, got it signed by the creators, and I gave it to my father and said, you know what, you can make a living out of your passion, right? Uh, which is one of uh, the most uh, notable moments in my life. So once that started, I, I wasn't, uh, Rukshani, I, I did not specialize in IT. My background is more of a finance background, more of a management background, uh, um, because I was very bad at maths in school. If I can go back uh, to my school time and do something right, I focus more on maths and logic. Um, so uh, I come from a management background and then after working in London, I went on to work in a startup in London and to understand what this whole concept of startups are. Uh, something very uh, different, you know, people used to wear t-shirts to work, uh, they didn't have a nine to five uh, uh, clock of working, they could work from home, uh, different type of a concept and got involved in that and then I came back to Sri Lanka and joined Virtusa as a management consultant where I could really apply what I learned there. And then obviously the notion came that, oh, you know what, you have a family business, why don't you join the family? So then the viewpoint came, look, if my predecessors or if my father is a start organization or an empire out of nothing, right? why can't I do the same? Why can't, with all the resources I've been given at this young age, can't I do something better? So with that notion, I left Virtusa. I met my business partner, Danusha, in 2015. Uh, we started a small company called Potenza at that time. So with uh, the aim of providing proper IT or technology software for organizations across the world. So that little dream started with four people. Uh, and today, after five uh, and a half years, we are 85 consultants strong. We are present in Singapore, Australia, North America, Canada, and we are now moving. In. Uh, we are working with some of the world's largest brands, including AIA Insurance, London Stock Exchange Group. Recently, we are doing one of the projects with Bombardier, which is an aircraft manufacturer in the world. Um, and uh, we've been winning multiple global awards, one after another, and uh, we've been managed to actually become very big within uh, these couple of days. So my advice to the students, are, I really appreciate uh, one thing that Dr. Dinuja said. Uh, it's not only about the books. And once you leave the school environment, it's a completely different world out there. So don't expect it to be flowery, bubbly, uh, and don't give up because, you know, there's a lot of negativity out there. Be prepared to uh, face all of that. Uh, something that Dr. Asi said, grit and perseverance is something very, uh, very important. Uh, you need to be able to never give up. Uh, because uh, when I started the organization with my business partner, you know, when we started, there were months where we couldn't pay salaries to our, uh, you know, uh, and we, when we couldn't pay salaries, we had to go behind banks and we were just a startup. Uh, we, we were basically a company which had no credentials. Uh, when we started uh, in Sri Lanka, there was no companies which would give us projects in Sri Lanka. And we used to go to banks and say, hey, you know what, we are a small IT company, we can do great things. Uh, the immediate response from these banks were, oh, were you, uh, if you want to work with us, you need to be a company more than five years old, right? So what we did was we immediately went outside of Sri Lanka. We went into markets like Bangladesh, Cambodia, Myanmar, Singapore. And they really opened big arms. And then we did projects there. We did 
we took references uh, from and customer successes from those markets came to sri lanka and started working in sri lanka so from a entrepreneurial point of view uh, i'd like to share some tips probably in the next session rukshani uh, i'll go into very specific tips of how you can start you can start very simple you don't need to have a lot of capital uh, all you need is passion an idea um, and the ability to see a gap in the market and how you can really exploit that uh, and little little things uh, for example it always before you start a business it's very important that if you have uh, industry exposure or if you work somewhere else before because that training is very important in my uh, instance virtus was that for me uh, because uh, you see a lot of entrepreneurs or a lot of people in the technology entrepreneurship landscape in sri lanka who started their careers at virtus because it gives that proper platform uh, so it's very important to work for someone else first understand how things work uh, because what you learn in university and what you learn in school is completely different when you come out uh, so before i end this session my little focus on your on your education at school specifically if you want to be an engineer or a doctor uh, you know focus on your short term goals and if you have not met those short term goals it's not too late i'm your uh, evidence of that uh, it's never too late to change your life Uh, and always uh, find a passion and always find uh, a challenge uh, and saying that you know your things won't uh, i'm going to make sure i hit this target uh, before this stage so um, yeah thank you very much mr vagapitya and um, it was a pleasure knowing all these details as well so basically we need to know that whatever you do just do the best for it and just go for it and take the challenge as well and it's not too late to take decisions as well and then work towards those as well so don't forget being a professional will not uh, actually um, stop you from being an entrepreneur so basically you need the same sort of skill set and a little bit more just like mr himindra hey, javira and mr mithila vagapitiya said a little bit more to be an entrepreneur so next in the next round we'll see how we are going to do it and before that we need to get your engagement again so if i believe you have lots and lots of uh, questions so let's go back to menti.com and then there will be another slide asking you about your questions and if you can show it on screen now please go on to www.menti.com and type in the code again as 2204-1657 and share your questions with us so that we can get our panel to answer your questions as well and now let's quickly give our sponsors a chance so that they can uh, show the help they have shown us to you as well
was I enjoying? Hi, I'm Anjali, co-founder of The Hatch Preschool and Daycare. I started my career in banking and I was a banker for 14 years. Money was good, but something was missing. I didn't have the freedom. I didn't have the time for my family or for myself. Neither was I enjoying what I was doing. All of these things led me to take that bold step of becoming an entrepreneur. Two years fast forward today, I have the freedom I want, I have the time for my family and for myself, and mostly I love what I'm doing. Also, it has created the opportunity to give jobs for so many deserving people. Looking back, what I studied for A-levels doesn't have any relevance to what I'm doing right now. But surely, completing academics have developed certain skills that I require as a business owner. Discipline and the determination that you require to complete something that you've started and also planning are key skills that you need when managing a business. Lastly, I would like to say this world needs entrepreneurs. So be bold and take that step if you believe it is for you. Focus and positivity will take you to greater heights. Thank you. Hi, this is Chatushka Kiriala. I'm a lecturer in HRM and business management by profession. Creative mm -hmm. Solutions is a totally online business which provides traditional attire for infants, toddlers and kids starting from three months to five years. Uh, I got this idea when I wanted to get one for my daughter when she was just eight months and I couldn't find anything. And I thought, yeah, that can be a market gap. And I created this business in 2018. Uh, we had just 50 customers in the first year. Now I'm glad I have uh, catered more than 1,000 customers in 2021. To become an entrepreneur, you do need to invent a new thing, probably find a market gap and then uh, start catering it and create a trend. I just started with 25,000 rupees in my hand and now I'm happy I have invested more than that. Nothing should stop you to become an entrepreneur. Just find a market gap and start off it. I born mom in Oshi Poltena, Egdasamsia Anu Hatha Kandane Vishakavia, Urthien Chartered Architect Kenny. Mama Usas Pelasanda had their way with their vision. Hamoma Wagi, Mulin Hitagan Hiti, Vaidivaria Quenna, Eat Passi Mama Magi Usas Pela Pratipala Bali, Borutu Vishavidale, Architecture Partamala Sanda, Aydum Kara. Hidi, BSC, Saha and Messi Upadi, Sartaka Nimakara, Mama Danuta. Charter architect in a cat theatre, Magi Wurthame, Katitola Yedenoa. Oman Raja Airports Deca, Nirmani Kirin Sandahat, Mamma Magi, Nirmana Daikate Labaduna. Lanka out of Hamini and Pasua, the Das Ekulha Varshedi, Mamma Mekwa Architects Namin, Magema Aitania Patangana. Then at Mamehi, managing partner Hatia Katitu Kerno. It Amutarava, Estel Double IT School of Architecture, he senior lecturer Kenek Hatia Katitu Kerno. Uh, Vidya Shan Pasale di Hadarwat, Madia Hakivatibu Ekama Marge, Vaidivaria, Pima Pamanak Nevi. It Amutarava, Tava Purti Marga Viver Venema. Ava Shakarane, Epidema Denua Bavesa, Ashava Pamana. Ubata Yahakidura Bohoma. Diri and Yutu Abiova Bargan. Obasil Denagi, Anagate. Okay, I was on mute. I'll tell that again. Welcome back. And uh, it's now the time to see what your questions are. So let's pass on the screen to the um, let's pass the screen to the questions, please. Yes, so we see a lot of questions in this on the screen. So, okay, I see a lot of questions. Let me come back to um, Dr. Asiri. 
I'm looking at the screen as well, so I am picking questions and I'm coming back to you. All right, there are lots of lots of questions. Very nice. I really love your engagement throughout. And now I'll move on to Dr. Asiri. Dr. Asiri, I need to know. Yes. So, Abi Salam Balamu, Kohomada Vivasai Katwekiana Visha, Ekapi Pasari Dakin, Pasar Visha Nirdeshe, Vivasai Katwekiana Visha. Have I Kohomada Vivasai Katwekiana Visha Darwege? Growth the Kara Himatan Darwe Givardane at a Balapa and Nikoma the Kiela Mandan Hapi may Vishavidia lady entrepreneurship key and a degree acre. Emtan Vivasai Katweki and a degree acre Tiena, Etapi Isco lady, Ekanapi Pasa lady, Pasa Padati to make a daki ne. Ethor made the key Kumata Pigalabagan Napula. In Vivasai Katweki and Moka, the Natam entrepreneurship and Moka the Kienaker. Api Podak Arta Katanaka Labellu thing, then Isra Api Gudakala or Kia name, entrepreneurship Kilkian, business like a create Kella, Aka Godanaka Ginanagamang, Aking Ada, I can profit generate Kernavagi, Arta Katanakamai, Gudakila Water, Parana Arta, Parana Arta Katanal Tibuni, entrepreneurship Kian Mukadikini. Have I then modern definitions of a Gudak, Kitabada, broad Arta Katanaka and Mami? By transforming the world by solving big problems. Locate in a look of Prashnavism, the Lakuma that we locate transform Karan. Himanatang Samaji Venasa Katikaran, the Samaji Mukakari productive of Tulim Ho, Yamtusi Akarekin, Samaji Tula Venasa Katikal, and Samaji status quake and with Yenavi Venaskaranik Homer. May Hamadim entrepreneurship can a broad subject area Catholic and I thought a Niki basic ekatagi or thing. I Mulatamapi Gyothing, Gudaklavat, Prashnea Kanduraganima, you can have a Kalimikataka, a gap picker, Kanduraganima, a gap picker, Pion, a Prashne Visadana, Sartaka, Nirmana Shili, Visadum Pavichikar Nakiana, they the Mai entrepreneurship in a Sampura Sankal Pathlithian. It got a make a Kamai up a Pugaleki, Givite, Givite in a Koeka Kila, Mamadaki Naka, can have a profit take up with a Profitable Labanama business curnon, even the Pulanga PGVT, a pay war the nature that we get war the nature, we get to Hanzagima, get to the Sartaka, we said, Hey, Makina, we Molika sit down the Tamayapijiva to Nokia again. But the Riki war the nature, some war the nature make a Atiavash. Metal is how we cut monkey and everything happy. Decker would have a cloud mayor Katakarapu, they will be Vishishima, Mithila Katakar, they will be looked up at the Eruna, passion nekaki in the epic. Kamati there, Kamati dekatu in Akinika, Harima Vedagat, Apijiviti, Sarta Katakara, Langavi, with a good cloud monkey from me, the Ruther de Nakote. I'm a doctor, can you come the engineer, can you come the Kamati, can you take a good cloud, the Ruth among it, passionate identify Karagan, the Nutria, maybe a pea, a bit of Samajing and Balapamatic, a pea, a the ticket on the ticket and a doctor can if you know, teachers can on the ticket and a doctor ගියාම අපි and Doctor Ganekala making eleven, making I mean the Kumti, let's go to a Catholic options up to a specialties on the pool of public health, community medicine. Eva gave a cake specialties in the community medicine can up deal current individual patients like an area, deal current population, population, the case of population health, it's got a good up in a era savatil, Doctor Ganekala, community physician, can you put up a good up to the research current. It was a Lian, the Asian part one, teaching, it was a policy decisions, gun, planning, Eva Gedevati. 
अंबर अभी करके नहीं आने कीप गोइंग अभी एक दिगंत दिगंत करके नहीं आने हेतु है ना आने प्रधान साधक के तमाय अपने पहला वाला में अभी करना देते हुए मैंने ग्रेटर पर्पस है का समाज ये टू मैंने वैधाई बाव है अभी उद्देश्य लेके थे तभी मेरे समाज ये करना वहाँ के लग तेरे रेक हरी वैधगत मेरा साबक उन्हें � तो वधे मगे रस्सा थोड़ी इस मट्ट पे है ना मगे ग्रेटर पर्पस से कम करते हैं लोगों को तो मां वैध कराने डिसेबिलिटीज थी ना लम्बाई वैन वैन लंका वो तेरा सेवा वाला नहीं करा नहीं तो कुछ एक गैप पे काफी है ना तो मां दक्षिण मगे रस्सा वो थोड़ी मां पैशन ने का थोड़ी मां कर रहे देवल वाली मट्ट ये यंग किस काले से मिलांका वाले सेव कराना पुरो अंकित करते हैं इसमें तीन पड़ा तभी तो हरी ले इसी इस तरह टे आना ये एक ही नहीं तेरा पैशन ने काट दिए नहीं का ये पैशन ने किन कैरियर का खदा गाना पुरा ये काफी रूप से हाँ करो थी हर ये बेलो थी विविध निर्माण सीली ये पैशन ने का दिखा बेलो थी ये थोड़ी और गलत कैरियर्स डेवलप कर गाना पुरा ये तो बोलते पे बच्चे के उपासनाथ ඕන තරම් ඔපෝර්චුනිටීස් තියෙන ලෝකෙක. දැන් ඉස්සර බිස්නස් එකක් පටන් ගන්න හරි අමාරු. නමුත් දැන් ඕන කෙනෙකුට ඉන්ටරැක්ට් තියෙනවා නම් gedara idagen අලුත් දෙයක් නිර්මාණය කරන්න අලුත් දෙයක් පටන් ගන්න උදමාකාර හැකියාවක් තියෙනවා. ඒ දෙකට අවශ්‍ය කරන්නේ අර අපිව හැමෝම කතා කරපු අර මූලික ගුණාංග ටික අපි පාසල් පද්ධති තුලින් ගොඩනගා ගන්න අර හැකියාවන් විශේෂ හැකියාවන් අපි එකතු කරගන්න දේවල් ටික තමයි අවශ්‍ය. හිතන්න ඔපෝර්චුනිටීස් තියෙනවා ගොඩාක් දේවල් කරන්න පුළුවන්. මට කරන්න හිත ඕන මොකක්ද? ඒ දේවල් වලට ඕන කරන්න යොමු වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් එතකොට අර විභාග පාස් වීම දැන් ඔයගොල්ලෝ දැන් කියන දකින්න සිහින ඇචීව් කරගත්තේ නැහැ කියන එක ඒක නැති වුණා ජීවිතේ පරාජයක් විදිහට කොයි වෙලාවකවත් බාර ගන්න එපා. ඒ ඕන අංශයකින්. අද ඉන්න දරුවෝට තියෙන ඔපෝර්චුනිටීස් මං හිතන්නේ මෙතුවක් කල් කිසිම කෙනෙකුට තිබිලා නැහැ. ඒ ඔපෝර්චුනිටීස් ඕන කරක් පාවිච්චි කරලා හැමෝටම ඉතාම සාර්ථක පුද්ගලයෙක් බවට පත් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. හැබැයි සාර්ථක රටට හෝ සමාජයට එහෙම නැත්නම් ලෝකෙට යම්කිසි වැඩක් කරන පුද්ගලයෙක් වෙන්න උත්සාහ කරන එක තමයි ඉතාම වැදගත්. ඒ ග්‍රේට පර්පස් එකත් ඔලි තියෙනවා නම් ඔයගොල්ලන්ගේ සාර්ථකත්වය ළඟා කරගන්න එක කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ කියලා තමයි මට කියන්න තියෙන්නේ. මෙතෙන්දී අර අනිත් එක කෙනෙකුට කකුලෙන් අදින එක තානිත් එක කෙනාගේ එක තමන් එක කම්පයා කරන එක ඒ දේවල් කිසිසේත්ම වැඩක් නැහැ අද මේ සමාජය තුළ මොකද හැමෝටම ඕන තරම් ඔපෝර්චුනිටීස් තියෙනවා තැන්ක්යු බොහොම ස්තුතියි බොහොම ස්තුතියි වෛතමිය අපි ඊළඟට යොමු වෙන්නේ දිනුෂ වෛතමිය වෙත දැන් ඔබ මේ වෙලාවේදී ව්‍යවසායකාව නාලිකාවක් කරනවා ඩොක්ටර් චැනල් ක්ලිනික් විත් ඩොක්ටර් ඩී ආර් කියලා ඇයි මේ වගේ දෙයකට යොමු වෙන්නේ කොහොමද එතන තියෙන ඔපෝර්චුනිටීස් කොහොමද වෙලාව හදා ගන්න මේ දේවල් කරන්න මම හිතන විදිහට පෞලත් සමබර කරගෙන රැකියාවත් සමබර කරගෙන ව්‍යවසායක ව්‍යවසායක එක විදිහට කොහොමද ඉදිරියට යන්නේ ෂානි ඔව් ෂානි දැන් मंग अरे मुलीम क्यों बने दें मगे लोगों ही नहीं आते बने मटे डॉक्टर के निकलने होने के लिए है बेक मगे थात तगे ही नहीं आते इतिंग दें अपिटा समाहर देवाल तीनों अपिके मति देवाल के लापिस आते टू इनो ये वागे मा अपिटा हमका कादरे करना आये वस आते टू करना लापिस आंतोस वेनो इतिंग नहीं मते आते में ඉතින් හැබැයි ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වුණාට පස්සේ අර ඩොක්ටර් අස්සිරි කිව්වා වගේ මටත් තාව පොඩි සිතිවිල්ලක් මෙතනින් මට මං හොයන සතුට මට සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ නේද වගේ එහෙම සිතිවිල්ලක් මට ආවා එතකොට තව දෙයක් කියන්න ඕනේ දැන් මම ඒ ලෙවල් කරලා ඉවර වුණු ඒ ලෙවල් ඉවර වෙලා ඊට පහුවදා ඉඳලම ලංකාවේ ප්‍රධාන මාධ්‍ය ආයතනයක මම නිදහස් නිවේදිකාවක් විදිහට मम रेखियाँ क्या मम ए आस कर पुदया मठ अवस्थ लभिल मम ए रेखियाँ गिया 
එතකොට යුනිවර්සිටි එකේ ඒ හිටපු අවුරුදු හතම මම ෆ්‍රීලාන්ස් ප්‍රසන්ට කෙනෙක් විදිහට නිදහස් නිවේදිකාවක් විදිහට ලංකාවේ ප්‍රධාන මාධ්‍ය ආයතනයක මම වැඩ කළා. ඒ වැඩ කරන ගමන් තමයි මම ඉගෙන ගත්තේ. එතකොට මාව ටෙලිවිෂන් එකේ දැකලා ප්‍රසන්ට කෙනෙක් විදිහට ඉතින් හුඟක් අය මාව හඳුනනවා. එතකොට ඒ අතරේ මම දැන් ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වෙලා එතකොට මම මේ රෝහලේ මේ වැඩ කටයුතු කරනවා. දැන් ওই විදිහට තමයි මගේ ගමන ගියේ. හැබැයි ඊට පස්සේ කාලෙකදී අපිට සමහර අවස්ථා එනවා සමහර දේවල් වලට සමු දෙන්න වෙනවා. මම ඉන්ටර්න්ෂිප් කරන කාලේ සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම මට මගේ මාධ්‍ය ජීවිතයට මට සමු දෙන්න සිද්ධ වුණා. ඊට පස්සේ මම ෆස්ට් අපොයින්ට්මන්ට් අරගෙන මම ගියේ පොළොන්නරුවට. පොළොන්නරුවේ මම අවුරුදු තුනක් මම හරිම සන්තෝෂයෙන් මම එහෙ රස්සාව කළා. එතකොට ඒ කාලේ මම සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම මාධ්‍ය ජීවිතෙන් ඈත් වෙලා හිටියා. ඊට පස්සේ විවාහ වෙලා, දරුවෝ ලැබිලා ඒ කාලෙත් මම ඈත් වෙලා හිටියා මේ මාධ්‍ය ජීවිතෙන්. ඊට පස්සේ දැන් රුක්ෂානි මගෙන් ඇහුවා මම කොහොමද කියලා මේ 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 මගේ කාලය කලමනාකරණය කරගන්නේ ඇත්තටම මම භූමිකා කිහිපයක් රඟපානවා පළවෙනි මේක මම අම්මා කෙනෙක් මට බබාල තුන් දෙනෙක් ඉන්නවා චූටි බබාල තුන් දෙනෙක් ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ මම ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් විදිහට මම ලොකු බාර දූර රාජකාරි ගොඩක් කරනවා අනික් දේ තමයි මම ශිෂ්‍යාවක් මම මේ පෝස්ට් ග්‍රැජුවේට් ස්ටුඩන්ට් කෙනෙක් එතකොට මම ඒ මගේ අධ්‍යාපනය සඳහාත් මම තාම වෙහෙස මහන්සි වෙනවා එතකොට ඒ අතරෙම මම සයිබර් ක්ලිනික් කියලා දැන් මගේම YouTube channel එකක් කරනවා. ඒ තතර මේ භූමිකා හතරක් එක්ක ඇත්තටම පොඩි යුද්ධයක් වගේ දෙයක් තමයි දැන් මේ වෙලා තියෙන්නේ. ඉතින් මම මේක කොහොම හරි මැනේජ් කරගෙන යනවා. දැන් එතකොට මේකෙදී මම දැන් වෙනත් මාධ්‍ය ආයතනයක අපි වැඩ කරනකොට ඇත්තටම එතනදී අපි අපිට ඉහළින් සිටින පුද්ගලයන් අපිට නියෝග කරන දේවල් තමයි අපි හුඟක් වෙලාවට අපිට කරන්න වෙන්නේ. එතකොට මම එතෙන්දී මට තේරිච්ච දෙයක් තමයි දැන් අපි කැමති දේවල් අපිට කරන්න තියෙන අවස්ථාවේ ඒ වගේ තැනකින්දගෙන අඩුයි. ඒ වගේම අපේ රටේ ඇත්තටම ජනතාවගේ තියෙන මේ සෞඛ්‍ය දැනුම හරිම අඩු තැනක තමයි තියෙන්නේ. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා මට හැමදාම ඕන වෙලා තිබ්බා මිනිස්සුන්ට මේ මෙඩිකල් ඇන්ඩ් හෙල්ත් channel එකක් කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා සිංහලෙන්. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා මම මීට මාස 6කට කලින් මේ සයිබර් ක්ලිනික් කියන මගේ YouTube channel එක මම පටන් ගත්තා. ඉතින් අද වෙනකොට ඇත්තටම මේ මාස 6ක් යනකොට මට ගාක් ප්‍රතිචාර තියෙනවා මිනිස්සු හුඟක් මේ මගේ channel එක ගැන කතා කරනවා සහ ඇත්තටම මේක මිනිසුන්ට හුඟක් වැඩදායී දෙයක් වෙන බව මට දැන් තේරිලා තියෙනවා. ඒ වගේම අනිත් පැත්තට මම මේකෙන් ලොකු සතුටක් ලැබෙනවා. එතකොට මම ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් විදිහට වැඩ කරන අතරෙම මම කැමති දෙයකුත් මම මේ පැත්තෙන් කරනවා. සහ මට ජනතාවට දෙයක් දෙන්න පුළුවන් වෙලා තියෙනවා. සහ මට යම් ආදායමකුත් ඒකෙන් ලැබෙනවා. ඉතින් එතකොට මේ හැමදේම මේකෙන් බැලන්ස් වෙනවා, හැමදේම සම්පූර්ණ වෙනවා. ඉතින් මම ඇත්තටම කියන්න ඕනේ මේ මේ තරුණ මිසක් මේ මේ පොඩි පුංචි විශාඛාවියන්ට අපිට ටාගට් එකක් තියෙන්න ඕනේ. ඒ ටාගට් එක අපි ආදරය කරන අපි කැමති ටාගට් එකක් වෙන්න ඕනේ. එහෙම නැත්තම් අපිට එතනින් සාර්ථකත්වයක් ලබා ගන්න බෑ. එතකොට අපි ඒ ටාගට් එකට යන ගමනේදී අපිට බොහොම අමාරු තැන් එනවා. අපි වැටෙනවා. ඒ වැටෙන වැටෙන තැන අපි නැගිටින්න ඕනේ. ඒ නැගිටලා අපි බොහොම මහන්සියෙන් කැපවීම එන්නේ අපේ ටාගට් එක කරා යන්න ඕනේ. දැන් ඔහොම යනකොට අපිට එක එක දොරවල් ඇරෙනවා. මේ මේ පාරේ. එතකොට මේ ඇරෙන දොරවල් වලින් අපි පරිස්සමින් තෝරා ගන්න ඕනේ අපි යන්න ඕන මොන දොරින්ද කියලා. මොකද දැන් ඇත්තටම මම කියන්නේ මම ඒ ලෙවල් කරලා ඊට පහුවෙනි දින ඉඳලම රැකියාවකට ගියා කියලා මේ රැකියාවට මාව තෝරගත්තේ මම ඒ ලෙවල් කරන කාලේ. එතකොට මම ඉන්ටර්වියු එකේදී කිව්වා මට දැන් රස්සාවට එන්න බෑ. මම ඒ ලෙවල් පාස් වෙලා ඊට පස්සේ මම මේ ජොබ් එකට එන්නම් කියලා. ප්‍රසන්ත කෙනෙක් විදිහට වැඩ කරන්න. ඒ වෙලාවේ මම ඒ ලෙවල් කරන්නේ නැතුව මම ඒ ජොබ් එක තෝරගත්ත නම් අද මම ඉන්න තැන මට ඉන්න හම්බ වෙන්නේ නැහැ. දැන් මොකද මං හිතනවා දැන් මම ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් සහ මේ සන්නිවේදිකාවක් විදිහට වෙනම විශේෂ තාවයක් මා තුල තියෙනවා කියලා. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා අද ඉන්න තැන එහෙම නම් මම එදා ඒ තෝරා ගැනීම කළා නම් මට අද මම ඉන්න තැන ඉන්න ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ. ඒ වගේම තමයි මම මේ නිවේදන ක්ෂේත්‍රයට ආවට පස්සේ මට හුඟාක් රඟපාන්න කතා කළා නාට්‍ය වලින් චිත්‍රපටි වලින්. ඉතින් එහෙම අවස්ථා මට ගොඩක් හම්බ වුණා. හැබැයි ඒ පාරවල් වලත් මම ගියේ නැහැ. මොකද මම සමහර විට මම ඒ පැත්තට යොමු වුණා නම් ඊට පස්සේ මට ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් විදිහට මේ වෘත්තිකේ වෘත්තිකේක් විදිහට මගේ ගමන යන්නට මට නොහැකි වෙන්න තිබ්බ මම ඒවට වැඩි අවස්ථාවක් තුනන්න. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා දරුවනේ අපි යනකොට අපි ඉස්සරහට යනකොට අපිට ඇරෙන දොරවල් වලින් අපි බොහොම පරිස්සමින් තෝරගන්න ඕනේ අපි යන්න
ඔබට ලොකු පන්නරයක් ලැබෙනවා මේ පාසලෙන් අපි අපි ඒ කරපු දේවල් වලින් ඉදිරියේ දිය වියව එකත්වයට යොමු වන්න ඒතර විශේෂිත පුද්ගලයෙක් විදිහට සමාජය තුල කැපී පෙන්න මේ හැම දෙයකටම ඒ නිසා මම බොහොම ආදරයෙන් කියනවා ඔබ හැම දෙනාටම හීන තියන්නේ අපි සැබෑ කරගන්න ඉටු කරගන්න ඉතින් ඒ නිසා ඒ හීන සැබෑ කර ගැනීම වෙනුවෙන් ඔබේ මුළු ශක්තියම යොදවන්න හැමෝතුල මේ ශක්තිය තියෙනවා प्रश्न हंदुन, shoot for the moon so that you can end up among the stars so i'll move on to uh, mr heminder javira so how can a student become an entrepreneur is there a lay age limit where you can start to become an entrepreneur or what are the opportunities there can i become an entrepreneur can i can the students here the young misakians from grade 8 we have here can they become entrepreneurs over to you mr javira Yeah, I think uh, earlier speakers explained really well what is an entrepreneur is. So I think it's correct. Entrepreneurship is not about making money. Entrepreneurship is about you know solving a problem uh, widely, you know, seen in the you know as a, as a as a person in the society. If you can solve the problem, if you are really taking a lot of effort, commitment. to solve the problem um, mr javeda can i uh, excuse you for a moment if you can yeah. switch on your video we can pass on the video to you i didn't get it should i open my video uh, uh so you have to switch on your video your video is currently switched off all right okay. sorry sorry can, can you see right. me now okay. <laughs> so we can okay. pass on the video to you sure thank you so, okay so it's uh, it's about solving a problem that is you know already there in the society and if you really identify the problem really well and if you really find the the real solution for that problem money will come to you so that's the trick so the number one that you have to do is to identify a problem that widely uh, seen in in public for example in your society it could be the environment problems it could be the health related problems it could be anything so there is no age limit for someone to start a entrepreneurial venture again it's not about money i mentioned uh, to solve a problem anybody can do it but then again you need to have some experience in handling lot of other things for example uh, you need to know that you know to continue something in a long term you need to create money for example for that you need to have the financial literacy financial literacy means uh, i think lot of people even adults Uh, find it, uh, you know, don't understand it really. But for, for example, a lot of people think if you have a car, nice car, if you have a nice uh, house, then you are rich. But actually, in entrepreneurial world, uh, having a car or having a house doesn't mean that you are rich, right? Uh, having a lot of people think having a car is an asset. No, it's not. Asset is generally uh, something that will create income, continuous income. So it's if you are if you are paying a lot of part of your salary as a bank loan or as something else uh, to pay uh, the house housing loan or a car loan then it's not an asset so this financial literacy should be there so that's a skill that you should you should have and then one of the very important skill that you should have in order to have uh, you know to become a good entrepreneur is the marketing skill so you should be able to market yourself you should be able to develop Uh, the marketing skill so marketing skill doesn't mean that you know uh, it's about uh, creating nice artwork nice uh, visuals no nothing like that it's about very uh, clearly articulate what you are trying to do and explain that to someone else so that's the marketing skill essentially then a uh, lot of things that you have to uh, understand uh, i think in sri lanka and a lot of south asian countries they think Uh, because i'm into lot of innovation related uh, 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 entrepreneurial work so lot of people thinks when i when you get a nice idea right super idea you tend to hide that idea from others because you feel like you know if you are if you tell that idea to someone else that person might steal your idea take that idea to, to you know from you and develop it themselves if you feel that 
uh, as a fear. Remember, you are not a good entrepreneur. You will never become an entrepreneur if you have that fear. Make sure that sharing of your idea that really create innovations. So a lot of people think hiding your idea is creating innovations. No, sharing your idea is what really create innovations, create entrepreneurial opportunities. So make sure it's about teamwork because uh, you know if you really want to be a successful entrepreneur, you need to know a lot of things. It's, you have to have the generalized knowledge. For example, you need to say if it is a IT related entrepreneurship, you should be good at IT. But in addition, as I mentioned, you need to be good at you, you should have that financial literacy. You need to have that uh, marketing skill. You need to have maybe a bit of legal and, and, and other other knowledge. So all that will not. Uh, I mean, one person can't be an expert in all these areas. So that what really mean is that you have to be a team player. So you should be able to work in a team. I'm not saying team in the sense 20, 30 people, at least two to three, three people. Two to three people bringing different knowledge skill. For example, you are good at IT and your co-founder or your partner brings maybe the business or the uh, financial literacy and the another third person might bring the, the marketing side. So likewise, this teamwork that really create a good entrepreneurial venture. So I think anybody can start a uh, entrepreneurial venture, uh, but only thing is to become more really successful. You need a lot of a uh, lot of experience, but start now start now even if you don't can't become an entrepreneur in the next couple of years still that that learning that learning to you know learning about uh, how to start something sell that you know even failing that that knowledge into various areas to marketing to all that will help will be helpful for you to even become a successful employer some employee somewhere so even if you want to get a job uh, that entrepreneurial skill set will be helpful for you to become a successful employee to, to become a uh, much better uh, person in whatever the profession that you are in. So I think uh, if somebody asks me when to start, even at, at school level, you can start. But where you should start is identify a problem which a lot of people face. Identify the problem really well because a lot of people comes up with solution without ident identifying the real problem. Identify the real root cause behind the problem and come up with a solution and focus on uh, implementing that solution, not for one person, but for many. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Javier. That's very important. And I think uh, today we are going to speak about basically what opportunities are there as an entrepreneur, as well as how you can become an entrepreneur. So the legal procedures and everything, we can come back to you separately and speak to you as well. And uh, for the meantime, we are trying to motivate you to show the other options we you have for yourselves as well. So if you're interested, don't worry, we are sending our um, uh, panelist details to all of you through your class teachers. So you can always reach out to them and then ask about more if you want to start your business now as well. And of course, um, there were a couple of good questions on the Q&A and on the menti.com as well. Uh, since we are limited with our time frame, I'm going on to um, Mr. Mithra Vagapit here on what advice can you give you give to our young entrepreneurs, to these students who want to become entrepreneurs as well? Mithila, over to you. Sure. Thanks, Rukshani. So there's a couple of uh, quick tips uh, for any entrepreneur, or any professional. Um, we are all quite big on Facebook and Instagram nowadays, right? But uh, for all you budding uh, students, get big on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is uh, a, a platform that all of you all should be. So for those of you who don't know what LinkedIn is, LinkedIn is basically a professional network that will help you build your profiles uh, of your profession plus your business. It will help you create new contacts uh, for your profession and expanding your market. It's, it's a brilliant tool. So do sign up for LinkedIn. I think that's a very important tool that you can use. Um, and in terms of advice, uh, I like to uh, build on something that Hamin mentioned. You can start a business alone or you can start a business with partners, but uh, I always encourage you to start a business alone, right? Um, unless and otherwise you find that perfect business partner which you can uh, avoid conflicts in the future because um, there is no such thing as shared vision. There's one vision, 
right? So you either set your own vision or you follow someone else's. In my case, I have found uh, uh, somewhat of a perfect business partner who is, I think, 10 years older than me. He mentored to me. Uh, he recently got uh, elected to the Forbes Technology Council, the only Sri Lankan to be elected to the Forbes Technology Council. So I have that luck. But I've seen in the business world a lot of business partners falling out uh, because of conflict. So that option is up to you. Um, and I saw a lot of questions on the Q&A um, uh, uh, section saying, I have this idea. How do I bring it to life? Right. Um, we need to utilize a lot of the new channels that we have. I think uh, Dr. Dinuja is doing it perfectly through YouTube, right? So that might be one channel. Another channel that you can really use is Instagram for uh, a lot of these uh, young students. Uh, we see a lot of Instagram businesses in other countries, like in Australia and UK. Uh, they have painting businesses, music businesses, sculpting businesses. So I mean, they've created a brand and now they've built their products and they have such a following that they're actually exporting those goods and services out of their country, right? We can also do the same thing, right? But it's, uh, it's all about uh, understanding what you want to do uh, and what product or service that you really want to uh, find. Uh, in terms of other little tips that I can give for you is always build on your passion. Um, and failure is common. Uh, and, you know, success, I always treat as your enemy, right? If you're successful once, never, never be complacent and lay on your success. Um, and always ensure that failure is going to come and always have a contingency. Um, and you also need to find your ideal role in whatever business you start. Uh, something that Amin also mentioned, sometimes you might be really good at the technical side, sometimes you might be really good at the business side. So you really need to identify uh, what you're strong at and fill the gaps through professionals, you can hire people and so forth. Um, and something that you always need to keep in mind is your attitudes and your value system is always greater than your aptitude. Uh, because uh, if you have a good value system, that's what will take you through to the next level. And when you even start a business, you should always hire people for values uh, and not for uh, aptitude. Uh, other advices that I can give you is um, marketing is a very uh, strong uh, thing. Uh, you should always try to inflate your value and your brand so that you would seem bigger than you already are. So when that happens, uh, your customers and your potential market would be like, oh, wow, this is a big brand and you would get more and more demand for your brand. So when that happens, you have to live up to that expectation. You have to live up to that big brand. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you all are wondering how, uh, what are the steps of how, how do I really build, set up a business? That question has not been answered. Like Heminder said, I think the first uh, step is incorporating a company. I think you can find a lot of resources online of how to incorporate your company. It will take less than seven days. Uh, the registrar of companies is getting better and better. So you can find a business name for yourself and you can register. Uh, subsequently, you can open a bank account associated with your business name. The, those two are the most important things in terms of the legislative aspect of starting a business, right? Uh, but the idea of what you want to achieve, when you want to achieve it and how you want to achieve it is also important. So um, as I said, uh, there's a lot of questions that's been posed uh, on the Q&A front. I've tried to answer whatever I can, but um, as I mentioned, I am available on LinkedIn. So please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I will help you as much as I can. Um, I've also been involved in helping young businesses specifically uh, in universities like uh, University of Rajarata. Uh, where they have a lot of innovative uh, innovative innovations in terms of products and services, but they don't know how to take it to market. So um, there's a lot of people out there who would be willing to help you all out. Um, but most important thing is passion, have a plan um, and see that you can execute it. You have a lot of resources online. You have a lot of resources within your networks. Uh, and I'd love to help whoever out uh, if you have a great idea that you want to bring to fruition. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Vagapitya. Thank you very much. Uh, just before our closure, let me quickly go on to uh, Mr. Heminder Javira again. Um, if you can switch on your uh, video as well, Mr. Javira. Just one question before uh, we end up the session for today. Uh, so what are the available entrepreneurship areas in Sri Lanka currently? That was one of the questions which came up on the Q&A. Um, 
on mng.com. So what are the available areas which you can be an entrepreneur? Uh, can you clarify it again? Is it entrepreneurial in the sense the like uh, IT, agriculture, that kind of area? Yes, so where you that's can get what they're asking. They're asking which uh, sort of sector they can move on as to uh, become an entrepreneur, which is basically the most demanded at the moment in Sri Lanka. So as I said, it's it's about uh, it's about solving a problem. It's entrepreneurship. Is uh, so look at where are the areas that Sri Lanka has the biggest problems. For example, uh, I mean I think one of the things that to become a very successful entrepreneur is we have to be aware of all the problems that face in the society and don't just moan about it. You know, just talk about the problem, but try to identify the the solutions for it. For example, now if you if you take today. Uh, we are talking about, you know, health is a huge hazard now. Health is a huge problem. So a lot of uh, uh, ideas are coming up, you know, how to, you know, bring something, you know, solutions for this pandemic. So that's a huge area that we can work, work. Even as a young person, there are a lot of areas that you can come up with solutions. Then agriculture. Now we talked about, you know, with the pandemic, generally what happens is, uh, I mean, if you look at the historical stories, when um, the great, uh, uh, the, the Spanish flu came in in 100 years ago with the uh, with that there was a uh, economic debacle, right? There was an issue that you know a lot of people had uh, didn't have food, a lot of issues. So that will come globally as well. So food could be a huge issue uh, going in even in Sri Lanka. So agriculture sector has a lot of potential and looking at how we can uh, grow things better with that creates more yield that creates more, uh, you know, volumes uh, and quality. So that's a huge area that Sri Lankan entrepreneurs can work. And IT, I would say as a, it's as a platform thing. So that will help in every sector. But uh, good thing about IT is that, you know, if you are, if you know IT, uh, starting an entrepreneurial venture is a little bit easier, I would say, because you don't have, have to spend a lot of money. And uh, for example, if it is agriculture venture, uh, there's a lot of capital that you have to uh, spend on maybe on the land or maybe on other aspects. But IT, just to start off, your capital cost is quite low. So that's why IT is a very, uh, I mean, for a Sri Lankan or a young person who has little money to start off, is an attractive area to start off. Because if you if you know uh, your programming, you if you know uh, so to create something in IT platform, and 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 if you know the other things, the other skill set, for example, financial literacy to uh, marketing skill, all that you can with limited amount of money, you can start your entrepreneurial venture or a solution that you want to, uh, you know, uh, that you want to implement. And then in addition, there are so many areas that you can look at, uh, for example, uh, uh, the logistics sector, right? Logistics sector, Sri Lanka as a location, one of the best location uh, that we can look at and uh, also look at the opportunities that we already have in Sri Lanka uh, where there's intrinsic quality. For example, uh, Sri Lanka talks about the best uh, uh, cinnamon over 2000 years, but we haven't really added value to that the, the product that we call cinnamon. But globally, everyone knows that cinnamon coming from Sri Lanka is the best cinnamon, right? Similarly, there are a lot of minerals in Sri Lanka that has globally known as the best minerals, but then we haven't done the value addition. So this is where we need a lot of entrepreneurial skill set, entrepreneurial value addition, and also uh, 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 the uh, that is where the, the real entrepreneurs can flourish. Hope I answered. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Javier. Thank you very much. Uh, so thank you very much to all the uh, students joined who joined with us and waited. They actually continued to stay with us for the entire two, uh, nearly two hours. And thank you very much, uh, Dr. Asiri Heva Malage, Dr. Dinuja Rupa Singha, Mr. Hemida Javira, and Mr. Mithila Vagapitiya for joining hands with us to enlighten all our students on entrepreneurship. So thank you very much for joining with us once again. Thanks a lot for all the team, the entire team, Andra Dimis from um, Visaka Vidyalaya for doing all the technical handling for us. And then our teams, the Old Girls Association, as well as the duty girls who have been helping us throughout um, 
we, this was an effort within two weeks. We worked out so hard to get through to this. So thank you very much for joining with us. Always been a, a pillar of strength, uh, girls. Thank you very much. And uh, until next year. So we'll bring you with.